We've all been there, where we have to go ahead and factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1. And here's a way that you may not have learned in school, especially if you went to school in the U.S., that's going to help you factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1. Here we go. First, take that 12, multiply to the 6. So we go 12 times 6. And the expression becomes x squared plus 17x plus 72. Next, we're just going to go ahead and factor this. To factor this, we have x plus and x plus. And to find out the two numbers that goes in here, we need to find two numbers that multiplies to 72 and adds up to 17. First of all, the list of numbers that multiplies to 72 are 1 and 72, 2 and 36, 3 and 24, 4 and 18, 6 and 12, and 8 and 9. Then of these pairs of numbers that we have, what two numbers adds up to 17? 8 and 9. So I'm going to put 8 here, and I'm going to put a 9 here. Next. You know that 12 that we multiplied, where did it go? Well, we multiply by 12, so we're going to divide it by 12 here. Then once we reduce the fractions, it becomes x plus 2 over 3 and x plus 3 over 4. To complete, all we have to do is take the denominator, multiply to the x. Take the 3, multiply to the x, giving us 3x plus 2. Next, we're going to take that 4, multiply to the x giving us 4x plus 3. And of course, if you multiply this out, you'll get 12x squared plus 17x plus 6. Or factoring the original expression, that will be our final answer. Let me do another example. Here's the second example. Just as in the first example, I'm going to take the leading coefficient, the 6, multiply to the c value, where we get x squared minus 5x minus 24. Next, we're going to factor this thing. And again, we get the x in the front. However, because this is negative, the third term, it's going to be plus minus. Again, whenever the third term is negative, we get 1 plus and 1 minus. Again, we need to find two numbers that multiplies to 24 first, which are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. And this time, instead of adding, because the two signs are opposite of each other, we want to find two numbers where we subtract and get 5. And it's going to be 3 and 8, because 8 minus 3, of course, is 5. Only thing you have to figure out is, does the 8 go here, or the 8 goes here? Since it's negative 5, we want to put the bigger number with the negative. So we put the 8 here, and the other number, or the 3, goes right there. Next, you know that 6 that we multiplied? I'm going to divide the 3 and the 8 by 6. And by reducing the 3 over 6 and the 8 over 6, we get x plus 1 half and x minus 4 over 3. We're going to take that 2, multiply to the x, giving us 2x plus 1. Notice the 1 stays, the 2 is uh, gone since we packed it onto the x. Again, we're going to take that 3, tack it on to the x, or multiply, where we get 3x minus 4. Again, if you multiply this out, you'll get 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. Or if you factor the original expression, the trinomial once again, we get 2x plus 1, 3x minus 4. So I hope this method, if you haven't seen it before, uh, will help you factor trinomials with a leading coefficient other than one. As always, thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so and give it a thumbs up.